Question 14 says that Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denominations or values rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 10. The ratio of the number of these notes is 2 is to 3 is to 5. The total cash with Lakshmi is rupees 4 lakh and we have to find how many notes of each denomination does she have. So there are two important pieces of information. Uh, the number of notes are of the three denominations are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 and the total value of these notes is rupees 4 lakhs. So what we can do is we can start by assuming the number of notes of each denomination in terms of some variable. So because the ratio is known 2 is to 3 is to 5 we can assume the number of notes to be 2x, 3x and 5x. So let's start with this assumption. So assume the following number of notes of each denomination. So the number of notes of rupees 100 denomination assume this to be 2x. The number of notes of rupees 50 denomination assume this to be 3x and the number of notes of rupees 10 assume this to be 5x. And why have we taken these three terms? Because the ratio needs to be 2 is to 3 is to 5. Alright, now the, the other piece of information we have to use is that the total value of these notes is rupees 4 lakh. So what is the value of uh, each kind of notes? So there are 2x notes of rupees 100. So the total value of uh, these 2x notes will be 2x into 100, 2x into 100 or rupees 200x, right? Similarly, there are 3x notes of rupees 50. So the total value of these notes will be 3x into 50 or rupees 150x. And finally, there are 5x notes of rupees 10. So the total value of these notes of rupees 10 will be 5x into 10 or rupees 50x. So let me just summarize what we have done. We assumed that the number of notes of the three denominations are 2x, 3x and 5x and using these we calculated their values also, rupee values. So rupees 200x from the 100 rupee notes, rupees 150x from the 50 rupee notes and rupees 50x from the 10 rupee notes. Now we will make use of the fact that the total value of these notes should be 4 lakhs. So 200x plus 150x plus 50x this should sum to 4 lakhs and this is how we form an equation in x. So 200x plus 150x plus 50x this should be equal to 4 lakhs. Alright, now let's solve this equation to find the value of x. So on the LHFs we have 200 and 150 and 50. So the total is 400. So we get 400x on the LHS and on the RHS we have 4 lakhs. And now let's divide both sides of the equation by 400 because we need, want to get rid of this 400 on the LHS. So we will get x is equal to 4 lakh divided by 400. What will this be equal to? Well, 4 lakh by 400 will simply be equal to uh, 1000, right? So the value of x is 1000 and now using this value of x, we can find the number of notes of each kind uh, because uh, those are in terms of x. So the number of notes of rupees 100 are 2x or 2, 2 into 2000 or 2000. The number of notes of rupees 50 are 3 into x or 3000 and the number of ru 10 rupee notes will be 5x or 5000. So the answer to this question is that the notes of the three denominations are 2000, 3000 and 5000 in number and this completes question number 14. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, 
Explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.